Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today in the game of Oxygen Not Included, we're going to be going over a oxygen generation design that's going to be utilizing a very weird feature. In our case, it's going to be a critter that's not really a critter known as the Morb. And that means today's video, we're going to be going over the Morb-based oxygen filter that's going to be producing oxygen that's germ-free and, of course, clean. Now, if you guys are not familiar with the Morb, these guys are a little bit weird they spawn from an outhouse however the rules are a little bit weird regarding how all of this works we're going to quickly go over all of the important features but if you guys want to see a little bit more about how the morbs work all of the ins and outs i'll link a video down below where we go over the morbs now in most cases morbs spawn from an outhouse we have to set it up like so with the automation where we have a critter sensor set to above zero otherwise the morbs will not reset and respawn however uh with a setup like this they will respawn indefinitely now the morbs in and of itself produces polluted oxygen with slime lung on it although this comes at no cost it just requires the gas pressure to be below a thousand and if it is they will produce polluted oxygen indefinitely you don't need to feed them they don't have an age and they do not die unless their body temperature goes outside of the livable range that means these guys will live indefinitely and produce polluted oxygen indefinitely as long as the criteria are met now of course they have to be able to walk left and right and have to also be in a non-vacuum it's a little bit weird but if they were in a pure vacuum they are not able to produce polluted oxygen since this has slime lung on it you might be wondering how do we clean the germs we know that slime lung dies on oxygen but i don't want the dupes breathing in uh, oxygen with slime lung on it with the off chance they get slime lung of course let's go over the disease overlay as you can see right here the slime lung stops at the bottom you might be wondering how is there a magical force that prevents the germs from going up top we're actually using what's called a radiation shield. We are using a uranium ore made mechanized airlock and this actually creates radiation in the environment. This radiation is actually enough to kill off all the germs as radiation will kill germs. And because of how little germs the morbs generate with the amount of oxygen being below a thousand grams per tile or a little bit over, this means that we don't actually have to kill a lot of the germs as the germs will die off relatively quickly and because of that allows us to have clean oxygen. So the uh, no germs present on these tiles is a plus for us, meaning that we don't have to deal with it when we deodorize the polluted oxygen into oxygen. Now that being said, uh, you guys could see that this part of the build is completely powerless. We don't have to feed them any resources. We don't have to do anything, however, you have to wait three cycles per outhouse to generate an additional morb. Because the morbs only generate a fixed amount of gas, and because of the gas pressure being low, you cannot stockpile the gas unless you put a pump in here and pull the gas out elsewhere. However, this is going to be a standalone design where we just have the morbs generating. So that means to get this primed up and started, it might take you a good amount of time, depending on how long it's going to take you to fill up an outhouse, micro the dupes to make it so that they don't actually clean it, and then doing the setup to drop the morbs into an enclosed space. This might take a good amount of time, especially since you have to wait three cycles per set of outhouses. Now, because of that, you might not be able to get this rolling from the beginning, and you might need to use some additional sources of O2 to help you guys out. But once you guys do get enough morbs, it's going to be amazing. Now, of course, let's get into the uh, water filter design. The water filter, exactly as you guys hear it, is right here. We prevent any of the gas from leaking through by using a water filter. The airflow mesh tile setup with the uh, solid tiles on the edge right here is the filter design. That's all you're going to need to do. And you put this on top of the outhouses with the polluted oxygen. The deodorizers, if you guys didn't know, this is a design I love to use for the uh, sublimination station right here using polluted dirt as oxygen. You guys could do a, a very similar design where you guys could have your dupes do that feed the polluted dirt, have them uh, utilize this as an oxygen source with a very similar method. The deodorizer, if you guys are not familiar, pulls two tiles from the center of the building. These two tiles, if it's polluted oxygen, will get pulled towards the building 
and then the building spawns the oxygen on top of itself. So, as you guys could see right here, these two tiles are two tiles away from the deodorizer. That means that this deodorizer can pull the polluted oxygen from this tile through the liquids, of course. And that's only true through liquids. If this was a solid tile, it would prevent the deodorizer from working as intended. So, by putting a liquid here, anything that doesn't off-gas, freeze, or become a gas naturally. So if you have a hot environment, putting ethanol here would be bad. If you have a cold environment, putting water here could freeze, that's also bad. So make sure you guys, whatever you guys put in here, make sure it doesn't off-gas, so no polluted water, and make sure it does not solidify or become steam and evaporate. Steam or any type of gas. So because of how that works, you could see that we use sand as our only resource to convert the polluted oxygen into oxygen and power. It's very little power, 5 watts of power per deodorizer. And usually it's about 8 morbs in terms of how much oxygen they could provide for a deodorizer to deodorize. So if you have 8 morbs, they will be able to provide enough oxygen for a deodorizer to run constantly. Now that being said, you could use that as a rule of thumb, but tied along with the deodorizers is an automation cable. This automation cable is tied with an Atmos sensor set to below 2000 so that it only turns on if we need the oxygen. I typically want to use this to maintain an oxygen level so that I don't have to constantly release gas. And because of how popped eardrums is going to be very frequent, especially if you have deodorizers, this is a culprit. A lot of times, if there's something off-gassing, creating enough polluted oxygen for you to convert into regular oxygen, sometimes pushing it above the threshold to cause popped eardrums on the dupes. So that's why the Atmo sensor is actually there to kind of regulate the flow of oxygen coming out of this. But guys, that has been the more based oxygen design, providing clean germ-free oxygen from the more. As you can see, this is very much just a passive oxygen generation at the point where it's primed we don't do anything outside of providing power and sand to this mechanism everything else inside we're not really going to touch and of course we don't have to do anything at some point you may want to choose to not have this run anymore at the top all you would have to do is make it so that the doors are always open so very similarly we just do something like below one causing the doors to open this would mean that the morbs will no longer spawn as if this happens the outhouse is going to be missing a tile and not operable so they would not be able to spawn a morb like this and you would do something like this if you run into too many morbs and it's starting to cause maybe a little bit of game lag and you want to stop that from happening you guys could always go in take out the morbs yourself but uh, using this automation sensor, flipping that to below one could stop or very easily stop your outhouses from producing morbs every three cycles. But if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.